Most people think that cash is safe. Cash is the least safe investment. It just doesn't have the same volatility to it. What's up guys, Ben here and welcome to Motivation to Invest. With central banks from around the world printing trillions of dollars in stimulus packages and government debt at an all-time high, many fear that the government's printing of money will cause paper currency to be devalued. Billionaire Ray Dalio and the world's largest hedge fund manager also even went as far as saying that cash is trash. So what's the solution for investors? Well, during these uncertain times, many investors retreat to gold and silver to hedge their portfolio. If you guys watched my previous video on gold versus silver, you'll know that silver is like gold on steroids. So when the gold price increases, silver prices tend to skyrocket. On that video, many of you guys commented and you said, Ben, what about silver mining stocks? It turns out that most mining stocks relative to the base metal, such as gold or silver, tend to increase by an even greater ratio. For example, on average with gold mining stocks, when gold prices double, the gold mining stocks tend to increase by a factor of eight. This is a one to four ratio. Silver also has a vast amount of industrial uses compared to gold. This material is used heavily in electronics, solar roofs, and even electric cars, such as Tesla. So in this video, I'm going to reveal my top three silver mining stocks. Without further ado, let's dive in. Welcome back guys to Motivation to Invest. Before we get started, if you appreciate the hard work that goes into these videos, then please give this video a big thumbs up. That really helps out with the YouTube algorithm, which allows me to create more great investing videos for you guys. And if you want more investing tips and exclusive stock picks, which I personally am investing into, then you should definitely subscribe to this channel and turn that notification bell on. With that being said, let's get into the video. Kicking things off at number three is Pan American Silver, one of the largest silver mining companies in the entire world. Right guys, so here we are inside Pan American Silver's operations. We can see they have 550 million ounces of silver reserves, 25.9 million ounces in silver production, and their cost is really, really low at just $6.39. That's the cash cost per ounce of silver segment. Diversified portfolio. Um, so they've got mines in Mexico, Peru, Bolivia, Argentina, Canada. Um, so it's very, very well diversified, which lowers the risk for investors. Pan American Silver has a diversified portfolio um, of mine exploration assets located through the Americas. We own 10 mining operations, including the Escobar mine in Guatemala. That's currently not operating. So there's just a few of their projects there of a portfolio assets. Let's have a quick look at their annual report. So you can see the revenue generated by the metal. So it's not just diversified internationally across many countries. It's also diversified with the type of metals it produces. So although it's called Pan American Silver, only 46% of the reserves are actually silver. It's got 32% gold, zinc, lead, and even some copper. The interesting thing is though, because of obviously the price and value of gold, gold generates 54% of the revenue for the business. Diving into the share price for Pan American Silver, we can see that around April 2020 during the crash, it was around $11 per share, and it's now up over $36 per share. That's an over three x return on your investment um, in just a few months, which is incredible. Um, if we go back a few years though, has the value of this stock peaked? It depends. So if we go back a few years, we can see that it's now at $36, just over $36. It's the highest it's been over the past sort of nearly sort of 10 years. But if we go back to 2010, 2011, it was also around this sort of figure. So perhaps, and then around, 
2008, it went up to $42 per share. So as the great Howard Mark says, history doesn't always repeat, but it does rhyme. So we could, putting on my trading hat, I could see that this could potentially be a resistance barrier, which it's been sort of trying to get through for the past couple of decades. Um, of course, things have changed. I'd say more in the favor of silver over recent years with regards to its industrial uses in electric cars and solar panels and solar roofs um, and all the electronics. However, this sort of $36 a share value seems quite high. Went up to around 40, so it possibly could go to around 40. Then we'll see what happens. It could break out to all time new highs or it could, or it could crash back down as it did in previous years. Comment number two is Heckler Mining Company. Heckler Mining Company is the largest silver producer in the USA and the oldest silver mining company on the New York Stock Exchange. Diving into the details for Heckler Mining Company. So this is largest primary silver producer in the US, oldest New York listed precious metals mining company in North America. They have a number of exploration properties and pre-development projects, a natural revenue hedge for the production of both precious and base metals. So this is great if you want some exposure to North America. Diving into the details here, we can see that the business is not globally diversified, but it is diversified across the US and Canada. So you've got various sites here um, all across the US from Nevada to Idaho and then Quebec over in Canada. And they've even got a site down in Mexico here. So they have got um, a variety of sites. They've got silver production, gold production, um, an amount of silver reserves and gold reserves. So it's a nice play. You want exposure to the Americas, um, the North American market specifically, and gold and silver mining. Now I won't dive deep into the financials of these stocks on this video. Maybe I'll do a separate video of that where I'll look at each stock in a lot more detail. Looking at the share price for Heckler Mining, we can see it is a smaller cap company compared to Pan American Silver. Um, share price around $6 per share at the moment. It was around $2 in April. Um, so yeah, another 3x stock um, if you invested in back then. Five year period, so it was around $6 there. So that could be hitting another resistance barrier. Let's see if it's made bigger highs in the past. So in the past, obviously this is all the way back into the 1980s, um, <laughs> probably using completely different minds right now, but he hit around $29 per share and now it's at six. So like I say previously, history doesn't always repeat, but it could rhyme. Psychologically, people wouldn't have as much of an issue with this stock rising a lot higher because it has been higher in the past. That's the only thing that you can judge from past stock prices. But of course, the silver mines have got to produce and the company has got to be making money. And last on my list, number one, First Majestic Silver. This is a large cap, well diversified silver mining company with its CEO as one of the biggest silver balls in the entire industry. So diving into the details for First Majestic Silver, um, let's look at here. So this is just some, the bullish case for silver. The same annual silver con consumption is around a billion ounces, 80% is sourced from mining, 20% sourced from recycling and hedging. Over the past 10 years, the silver industry has been in a 500 million ounce physical deficit. Silver is one of the world's most reflective and best conductors of electricity. 55% of silver consumption is from industrial applications, electronics, medicine, solar, water pur purification, window manufacturing, etc. Demand by sector, 55% industrial, 20% jewelry, 90% 90 co coins and bars, 6% silverware if you're a classy sort of guy or gal. Scrap recycling is at a 25 year low. Many suppliers don't actually believe it's economical to recycle silver the same way they do gold in terms of extracting every little piece out. Current silver to gold mine supply ratio is eight to one. So as we grow green, we require more silver. So this is basically talking about electric cars, um, the solar roofs, the power electronics um, that all require silver. So that's the bullish case by First Majestic. But let's find out some details specifically to this business. So primary um, 
um, produces 60% of the revenue from silver. So this is a great play if you want a more pure play silver producing large cap business compared to some of the others, which were maybe slightly more towards gold and silver. Um, in one country only, Mexico, the world's largest silver producing country. The risk of that being is because it's only in one country, that does add um, another element of risk. If there's political uncertainty, if there's regulation issues or any other issue in Mexico, then that could cause the stock to have some serious issues. Whereas some of the other companies I mentioned on this list, as they're globally diversified, should there be an issue in one country, they've still got 10 other countries to choose from. Um, Multi-asset producer, free producing silver mines with 4,500 direct employees, 350,000 hectares of mining claims in eight states. Goal to become the world's largest primary silver producer. So these, these want to be like the number one for silver. Yeah, it has its shows here. Mexican is the top producing silver country in the entire planet. So they are in the right place um, if that's their goal. This just shows the market cap, working capital, cash. So they've got 128 million of cash on hand, which is great news for investors. Top shareholders. So we've got Wheat and Precious Metals. They're another company which I do like a lot. Um, Vanguard, BlackRock, Morgan Stanley. So it's got quite a lot of institutional ownership, which is a good sign. Core assets here. So this is just obviously the different parts of Mexico, the different sites. Strong production growth, so it has been producing a steady increase in pace. Overall, silver mining stocks are a great way to give your portfolio some exposure to the silver boom. However, do remember that all that glistens isn't gold, and silver mining stocks can be incredibly volatile. That's why in this video, I've listed some of the major well-diversified companies. If you want higher rewards and also much, much greater risk, then you can also invest in some of the junior smaller cap silver mining stocks. And I've got another video coming up on those very soon. So what are your thoughts on silver mining stocks versus the base metal? Let me know in the comments below and I'll join in the discussion. And also, I've got a special treat for you guys. So if you guys would like a free share with up to $200 or £200, then check out the link below. I've got for the free trading platform, Trading. 212. When you sign up and deposit, you'll get that free share worth $200 or £200. You can use that to invest into one of the gold mining stocks I've mentioned on this video or to invest into iShares Physical Gold ETC. But remember guys, this is not financial advice. If you enjoyed this video, I would really appreciate it if you give it a big thumbs up. That really helps out with the YouTube algorithm, which allows me to create more great content like this for you guys. And if you want more investing tips and exclusive stock picks, which I personally am investing into, then you should definitely subscribe to this channel and turn that notification bell on. With that being said, I'll see you guys in the next video. Invest safe.